fashionably late, but the DS light review. Alright. So. This is not helping. Okay. Here it is, right here. Um, just all, all in its glorious glory and stuff. And, uh, yeah, here's the logo, and then, yo, uh, you quote, here, focus, and then here's the back, shows the name of the console, right there, Nintendo DS Lite, this is a, not one of the, ver the very first models, the second model for the DS, but, you know. And here are the things that I had plugged into it. The typical DS cartridge, Daycon Racing. And then dogs for the Game Boy Advance. So, yeah, the DS Lite and the original DS and the DSi, I'm pretty sure, are all compatible with the Game Boy Advance. So if you ever want to play your GBA games that you still have laying around, Use this bad boy. 3DS ain't compatible with it. It's only compatible with original DS cartridges. Now, left it. Now, this isn't the best console to be reviewing it on, at least the one that I own, because it's super old. I've had it since it launched, and you'll see why in a minute. So, okay, here's what it looks like on the inside. With your BA. X and Y. Now, I just found this recently, and I've been a huge Xbox gamer before I played it, so this button layout really confused me, but now I got used to it. You got your start and select buttons right there, then you have your D-pad, and then you have your microphone here that's used with a lot of the Lego games to, like, blow into and stuff. Then here's the top screen, the bottom screen place where you insert your stylus right here just trust me it's near the power button all right because I can't get it against the light so let's just turn it on here all right so this is why it's not the best system to be reviewing it on is because of that because I dropped it so yeah, so to get away from this, all the health and safety that no one reads, unless you're really, really bored, hit the A button. And here's what appears on the bottom screen. If I can get it in focus. This is really difficult to record a DS, okay? It's kind of tricky, so. Here, I'm just zooming in here. Alright. So this is at the bottom screen when you have no games inserted. You got your uh, GBA game, it says no game pack inserted, and no DS card. So you have DS download play so you can play with your friends. Then you also have PictoChat, which is a texting service that works under a radius of, I think, a... I think it's the radius of not... it's, it's below a mile. But they improved it on the DSi. And the 3DS. 3DS, I think, had a whole new texting service. But, and then at the top screen, you have your clock. Got your clock there. Uh, your, your, it's an analog uh, clock. Then you have your calendar, which is mostly being obscured by this. But, you can, uh, just trust me, there's a calendar there. And, um, this system, I think, has been discontinued. So, you won't be able to find any new latest games on it. The latest game I think I have is Kirby Mass Attack. And you got your system settings down here. Let's click on it. Okay. So, system settings. There's your language. Your language. If you are speak Spanish. Your language. 
then your what screen you want your uh, Game Boy Advance to be. It's set on auto to be on the bottom screen. Because if it was on the top screen, this thing would still show up. So, keep it on the bottom screen. Then I'm not entirely sure what this is for. See? I still get them confused. Okay. Okay, what is this for? Um, oh, this is for manual. Or... Manual or not. Let's see if I can do this here. I'm afraid if I try to stand it up. Wait a minute, this is the perfect thing to stand it up, I guess. No, it ain't. That, then your time and calendar and alarm settings, personal settings, your phrase, your slogan, birthday, favorite color, I just have it set to this color, green, because I think it looks the best, and this is to adjust coordinates. So when you quit this settings thing, it'll shut down your system, which is unfortunate, but... Now let's go get the games. Okay, let's put them back. Then put this one. One minute. Sorry, I didn't use the bathroom there. <laughs> okay. So here's dogs. Diddy Kong Racing's in there. Trust me, it is in there. Just can't see it because you put it back here. There it is right there. Let's go turn it on here. Yay! Both of them work, and now the rest. Now, if you move it slightly, this gives me a perfect example. Say you have your game pack in, and it ain't working. Same with the DS cartridge. This is what you need to do. For you young young gamers right out here, you don't know this. I'm sure you older gamers do. You take out the cartridge. The ones with that have the hollow in there, you blow on it. Then you blow into the DS. And put the game in. And just work after that. And yeah, that's the next DS Lite review. If you have any more questions about the DS, which you probably don't, just look up a look it up. Uh, look up a 3DS game on Nintendo. Okay. Bye.